Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm not home, or I'm not in New York. I'm at home in Houston. And I wanted to do this video real quick. Um, I wanted to do a life update. Because last video we gave a life update, and Sam, after we finished shooting, Sam reminded me, or I don't know if y'all see this video before or after this, but anyway. Sam reminded me of all these updates I could've talked about that I didn't even think of, so I decided to just hop on here and do another video um, with me talking about those updates that I didn't mention in that video so I worry that you know on social media and stuff they always say like you only see people's highlight reel and you don't see the real and stuff and every time someone comments and they're like y'all make being in big law look so easy or y'all make me Lori be so easy look so much like it's so much fun I cringe a little bit because it's not all sunshines and rainbows like at least not for me you know like I had a really really hard time adjusting to working full-time adjusting to work adjusting to just like law firm life like I've been in school my whole life and it was hard for me to just make that change it was hard to find a routine it took months several months for me to finally feel like I was in a comfortable routine with work um, there were so many decisions that I had to make that I've never had to make before so suddenly I had to like start paying off loans how many how much of that am I gonna pay a month I had to like, you know, pick healthcare and uh, pay like the commuter, figure out like a commuter fee for the train in New York, like all this type of stuff like that you're not worried about when you're at school or you're suddenly worried about when you're working and that was hard and yeah, just adjusting to the lifestyle of like working all day was very difficult for me and, I, and the job is hard and it's stressful and like I've said it but I don't know if that it comes off the way like I really wanted to come off that the job is hard and the job is stressful and like um, it's just it's a hard job to adapt to and so I get worried because I feel like we have four different type of viewers so we have the viewers who are in law school are in college and like are pretty like I guess advanced in knowing they want to be lawyers and like maybe you are somewhat familiar with like what it might mean to be a professional or maybe you're already a professional and then we have the viewers who don't care about any of that stuff, but they just like watching us for fun or like they're curious about what it's like to be a lawyer. Then we have the viewers who um, are our friends or family and they're gonna watch no matter what. The last category of viewers, these are viewers that kind of keep me up at night. It's like the high schoolers that comment down below and they say I'm 13, I'm 12, I'm 14, and I know I wanna be a lawyer and yada, yada, yada. Because when they ask questions, we answer it. I wonder if they, are as equipped to understand what it's like to be a professional and understand like there are some things you're just not going to answer when you're still working at a when you're still working somewhere there's some things you're not going to answer online when you're still working somewhere just point blank period and i feel like that highlight reel like how everyone knows you only post your highlights and stuff like we're not i'm not going to post me stressing and staying up until 2 a.m trying to get something out i mean i guess i could but I'm busy working so I'm not like thinking when you turn on my camera so in moments like that I get worried that they're only seeing the highlight reel and not really taking the time to kind of like think critically about what are the downsides of um, our path you know like the real not downsides I would say like the realities of our path and how it's not all like I said, rainbows and sunshines, like sometimes are really, really hard. Sometimes we have difficult questions, like me and Sam like asking each other, like what do we do in a situation, things like that. Like it's not all easy. And um, sometimes like if I don't, I always answer questions on here extremely honestly. Like I've never ever said anything that I think was deceiving or that was a lie. But sometimes I choose not to answer things that I don't feel like I can answer honestly you know like at least i'm not willing to answer honestly on camera that's something i worry about and i'm trying to wrap my head around how to address that um or how i can approach that because i want to give good and candid advice um i also want to have a long successful legal career and yeah i will never give advice or answer a question and like not be honest. I may be vague <laughs> or I may not answer it at all, but like I'm gonna answer honestly. And I just wanna make sure that we're painting a realistic picture of what it's like to be a lawyer, um, especially a big law lawyer, because it's it's difficult. It is, it's a difficult job. Okay, um, 
other life updates um no i'm not dating right now that was the truth when i said that in another video if y'all have seen it already i don't know if we're gonna post it before or after this but no i'm actually not dating um kind of sort of intentionally you know plus it's coronavirus out here like who's trying to meet strangers i'm not <laughs> um what else oh i you can't tell right now because i'm just like in this workout shirt but i've pretty much pretty much bought a whole new at home loungewear wardrobe um once i realized that we were gonna be in quarantine for the indefinite future at least in new york and my jobs probably we're not probably going back anytime soon i started buying more home clothes to feel comfortable but cute at the same time i didn't really all i had was pajamas a couple sweats but like i started buying more loungewear more t-shirts and yeah i i don't have something on right now but um i've bought a lot of clothes recently basically so another update is related to my hard transition to working full-time it was it was a hard transition for me and i realized during that whole process was that some people just adapt to things better than others some, th some people adapt to change better than others some people like have different strengths and weaknesses whatever so i realized during that whole time that i was trying to adopt behaviors um of people that i saw who were adjusting pretty well and was like okay let's see if this works for me and you know it's honestly like common sense but i was like wow okay these this isn't working like they do this xyz so let me try it or whatever like they um i don't know like they're able to balance these things while they're still working full time and i'm not like what's wrong with me what, what should i do should i take my behaviors model their behaviors like model my behaviors after theirs to see what works and it may sound like common sense but i feel like i've really realized especially recently that you can't just copy someone else's behaviors and think it's, think it's gonna have the same effect on you as it does on them like we all have different needs we all have different um different emotional needs i guess and different like we're wired differently and i was actually talking to my therapist about this pretty recently because she was not about this the same exact topic what she said was you know angel you realize that um people need not everyone needs the same things from a lot of things like not everyone needs the same things from relationships that includes like friendships romantic whatever family not everyone needs the same thing not everyone's right the same way not everyone had their needs emotional needs met as a kid not everyone um just not not everyone's the same like simply like not everyone's the same and it sounds so simple but it's something that i'm kind of just not realizing <laughs> like i can't just i have people that I admire and that's fine but like admiring someone and trying to adopt their behaviors and think it's going to have the same effect on me is not wise um so yeah that's pretty much it uh Generally, I've been fine, you know, I'm on vacation right now, um, you know, still quarantining, like I said in the, the last video, but definitely doing a lot of reflecting and trying to think about, you know, this next, this next year, because I'm coming up on a year of working, so I'm trying to think of the next year and, you know, what I'd like to do. Go with the